We're taking a break from digging the footers because something came up that I had forgotten about. And that is our porta potty. If you remember the porta potty from our tour up of our construction camp, well, that needs to go back. And so we need to have a place to go to the bathroom. This is our septic tank, our leach fields over here. And right here, we've got where we're gonna connect it to the house. There's a four inch uh, ABS pipe that's gonna come from here and go over to the house. And so we need to hook that up. We've got four inch right here. We've got some inch and a half right here. We've got a brand new toilet. That is the toilet that's gonna go in the house later. But we got a pretty unique way that we're gonna actually hook it up today. So let me show you. This is going to be the basic floor for in the bathroom and um, we're going to put all these together just join them with these two by fours here and the toilet then is going to sit right about here we're going to we're going to cut a hole in here for the toilet and it is just going to go straight through the lid we're not going to cut the lid we'll take the lid off and this is going to serve as a new lid we'll cover it with plastic i'll show you that in a little bit but um the toilet's going to go straight down through the lid and um and then this pipe right here this is going to connect the shower and washing machine together, it'll come down and go through a hole right down through the lid as well. And so that's how we're gonna be using the septic tank temporarily. Now we could hook into this right here, but that's gonna push us further out towards the house. And we don't really wanna be further out towards the house. Um, so we're gonna hook this all up and just cap it at the end down there. And um, we're gonna hook it up now because this tank is gonna get full and then it would be nasty to cut a five inch hole inside and have to hook all the stuff up that goes in there, but I'll show you that when we get to that stage. Oh, that could have hurt if I hit the finger. We got the bolts out. Let's go ahead and do the reveal. What is in here, huh? What color was it? Black. Whoa, look at that. It's so clean. <laughs> it is so clean. It's gonna be like the last time it's ever this clean. This is, yeah. It's never gonna be this clean again. This is actually our bunker. Jack, <laughs> this is our bunker, guys. All of our food stores are down there. This four inch sewer pipe is gonna connect here. It's gonna come in here. There'll be a, I think they, I don't know, they call it some kind of tea or something. It's gonna go right about here. You guys wanna see Seth be sent down in here? Probably. These are the parts right here that came with the uh, septic tank. This is gonna go on right here and it will extend down into the tank. This right here is a big rubber bushing. So we've got to drill a five inch hole right there. Then this rubber bushing will go through the hole and then this pipe will go through the bushing and then this will go on the end of the pipe inside the tank. All right, Harbor Freight hole saw kit. Here we go, hopefully it'll work. What size is this? This is the five incher, it's what we need. Five inch piece, then we got uh, this guy. Might need to use this guy. Yeah, all right, let's do it. All right, so we got the Harbor Freight drill. Look at this thing. And that's got mean teeth. It's a little wobbly, <laughs> but I think it's gonna get the job done. The guy said you drill right in this dimple right here. That's what that's for. The dimple? Yep. Let me look the, at, I wanna see the dimple. Can you see the dimple? It's right here. <laughs> yep, I can see the dimple now. That's where we drill. Okay, I there's a little mark for it. Yeah, according to the septic installer. He said no. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, and by the way, guys, the guy that gave me the idea about putting the toilet on top of here was also the installer. That's cool. He was so, really nice. Yeah, he said this is what a lot of people do. If they don't already have their house built, they'll put the toilet right on the tank. That's cool. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that was All a right. nice tip. Yeah, let's try it. Hey, oh, man. Uh, Hold on. We've got to dig out more. Yep. We're going to make room for the make room for the drill. Haven't quite got that far yet. And what? Hmm. I wonder if we shouldn't. We should probably finish digging this part out this way. Uh 
because um, we're gonna knock dirt into the septic tank through that hole. Yeah, for sure, huh? Yeah, so let's finish digging this first. Okay. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Yeah, that's let's good. Let's drill the hole now. Okay. I gotta get out of the way of this filming. Okay, hold on. Mm, that looks pretty good. Okay. Huh? <laughs> oh, don't go in there. You're really gonna have to send Seth in. <laughs> <sighs> there we go. Well, I think that part will be okay in there. Is it down in there? Yeah. Let's see. Where is it? Can you see it? Oh, there it is. Right there. Right there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well. We could um, lower Seth down head first. <laughs> Maybe. He would probably think that was fun. Yeah, he would think it was fun. <laughs> rubber, rubber now, rubber time. All right, so now it's time to put the rubber bushing in. See how easily it fits in. Oh, wow, that's super easy. I thought that was going to be a pain. He did say getting the pipe in there can be difficult, and he said to put a bunch of soap on it. Hmm. And that'll uh, that'll loosen it up so that it'll slide right through a little lube, he said. Good to go. Now we're finished digging this out. Jules is clearing out the roots. I think that's probably one of the most difficult parts of digging, is trying to get through all the little roots. Even though they look, they look minor, but they stop a shovel. Yeah. And that's a pain. We just got this really cheap cap just to... Um, Wait, I can see you. Hopefully it fits. Yeah. So we just got this really cheap cap. Cap up the end. Grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it back out when it's time. That's perfect. Yeah. That way no dirt can get in it. Set this guy in here. And see it's gonna go in there. So if we kind of look at the pipe, we can see where it's going to come out over here. When you come out just above the footer. So I think, I think, I think we're a little high right here. In the middle. Yeah. Yeah, just smear it all around on there. This is like painting. <laughs> That's real weird. Be an Ajax commercial. Yeah. <laughs> All the way around both sides. Turn it. <laughs> this is gonna be a very clean pipe. This is what the installer said. Yep. Suggesting. It's nice when they give you helpful tips like that. Yeah. People around here are really nice. All clean. <laughs> All right, let's put it in there. Okay. okay, you guide it down in there, and I'll push from the back here. Oh, wow. That's smart, Ed. Ouch. That was a root. I'm going to have to use both hands here. I had to use two hands, but lay down and kick it with your heel. And then you can get it in there. Ooh, wow, that looks good. Yeah. Okay, so next step is, we've got to put this guy on here. This guy is gonna go on there like that. Perfect. So the pipe actually came through there perfectly clean. It like squeegeed all the glue off of it. So it's clean and dry. Hmm. <laughs> Man, I think we're gonna have to get a pair of channel locks. <clears throat> Be right back. So while uh, Marty and I are kind of working on a new bathroom situation today, the kids are over here working really hard, getting more firewood split. 
Um, we've done a lot of firewood, but we still need more obviously for the winter. Sarah is right now stacking all the wood and then Brittany and Seth are working with the splitter. And man, that thing is so amazing. If we didn't have that splitter, this job would be so much, so much harder. So I'm so thankful. It just works out so smooth. It's something that we can operate. And it is a lot of work still. The logs that we've been splitting, some of them have been really, really heavy, really big. But I mean, imagine us doing all of that with an ax. It would be a lot more time consuming. Now we just clean this bad boy up. I'm sorry. That's okay. And then we'll be ready to glue it on. See if this will fit in there. It doesn't really fit in there. What is the cleaner? Like, it's so weird that that cleans it. Yeah, it like, actually it melts it a little bit. Oh, it melts the plastic? A little bit, it did. Huh. Wow, that's very toxic. Yeah, probably <laughs> wouldn't want to drink it. Yeah. All right, then we'll put the glue on there. Ooh, look at that, that's beautiful. Black. Wow. Beautiful blackness. Huh. It actually smells good. Really? <laughs> I like the smell of glue. <laughs> okay. Probably need to do this in a well ventilated area. Yeah. Here we go. Hmm. Ah. I guess that's it. Hmm. It's on. And it's pointing down. Yeah, that's awesome. So he said, he said you want this clean out just big enough that you can, if you have a problem, you can take the lid off and then you can push mm -hmm. this down in case you have a thing. You don't want it out here in the middle because later when you have your septic tank cleaned out, the they gotta, you gotta be in the way. They gotta get a hose down in there and stuff and put it over to the side. Looks beautiful. Yeah, it's good. There's so much involved to a toilet. <sighs> wanna see? You want to see our fancy toilet? No, it's not the toilet. <laughs> but look how big it is down there. You got to stick wow. your head in there. That's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, it echoes. <laughs> yeah. Look all the way in. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Tux, what do you so think anyway, of it? It's awesome. We just put the pipe through there and hook that thing up to it. What do you think, Tux? What do you think? I don't fall in there. That would be bad for you. All right guys, it's actually the next morning. We had to quit our project a little early, um, but for some good reasons. I found this really good deal on rebar, um, and so we had to go to a different city to get it. And it was like about an hour away, but also Sarah found a car, and this is her first car. And so we wanted to go check out this car and she ended up getting it. So hopefully, maybe on her channel, she's gonna make a video about that so you guys can see it. It's really exciting. She's been saving up her money for a couple years. And so anyways, it's exciting. We got that and we got the rebar. We intended on getting 50 pieces, but when we got there, the man actually had 70. These are 20 feet long and they're number four rebar. And so, Obviously, we're not going to be using all of these in our house, but Gary would like the rest of them. And so whatever we don't use, he's planning on using. And it was kind of crazy. The, t the trailer was like fishtailing because we had too much weight back here. So we ended up stopping and pulling it forward. You can see up there. We had to pull it all the way as far forward as we can. After we did that, it was fine. And then yesterday, we also purchased... I don't know if we showed them already. Did we show them? Okay, this is our brand new toilet. No. Right, so let's see here. Open up the toilet. Got a bag of goodies. Looks like we've got the wax ring. This is really what we want here. The instructions so we know where, where to place the toilet. But let's see what else we got. We have got a Kind of a styrofoamy, rubbery gasket. Probably goes between the tank and the bowl. Some caps for the bolts, probably. Cool. And then in here, let's see what we got. Ooh. Wow, it's shiny white, Joseph. <laughs> Clean. Cool. All right, well, okay, in here, here's the, here's the tank part. 
the bottom of the tank part. Huh. Okay, we've got another box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's like it's your birthday or something. Yeah, man, there's a lot of stuff in here. All these packages to open. Oh, this is the toilet seat. Oh, nice. Cool. Toilet seat parts. This is the big part. And it is big, dude. Oh, oh wait, there's another box of goodies. This is heavy, too. Busted. What? Oh no. Man. Wow. You think we ought to take the whole toilet back for that? Oh. I don't know. Hmm. That's crazy. It's lame. Hmm. I guess we could call them. Definitely broke, man. Oh, that's so sad. Hmm. Oh. That really puts a delay in our plans. Yeah, man. Especially if we gotta take the whole thing back. All right, I just got off the phone with Home Depot and they said that we can just go ahead with the installation and bring in the lid and they'll swap it out for us. Sweet. So that doesn't really delay us. The lid is like a minor part anyways of it. So that's awesome. <laughs> yes, very good. Thank you, Home Depot, for that. Oh, that's nice. All did right, we, I'll buy something else there again. Did we check the bowl to make sure it's not, not yet. cracked or anything? I was, I was going to take that out so we could kind of measure it and check okay, it out. Let's do that. All right. That would definitely delay the project. <laughs> yeah. That side looks good. Yeah. No cracks or anything. I'll hold it up. <sighs> yeah. No, that looks good. No cracks there. Okay. How about the rest of it? It's good. I want you to appreciate. What? Appreciate <laughs> how much, how to, if you put too much stuff on the toilet, look. It's got to fit through this little hole right here. Everything's <laughs> got to go through this hole. That's why you got to use a little bit of toilet paper. That's right, man. Don't. Yeah, and I'm surprised. I thought, you yeah. know, when you look at the bowl side, it's like huge. It's not like how many. Like I can put my fingers if I get them all in there, yeah. like this. It's not very big. No. <laughs> Ooh, so don't plug your toilet. That's right. So now we know. Now we can appreciate. The underside of a toilet. Let's measure this guy up and then we'll go over there and drill a hole. So we'll just go 12 inches. And then, like you don't want to be right up against the wall, right? So you need some extra space. I know that there's code for this, but what we're building here is not necessarily the code, so. Yeah, this is just our temporary. Yeah. This is temporary grid. for the summer. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just so we can save money not having a porta potty. Let's just go 16 inches. So basically, this is just to save us a little money because basically the price of one month renting the porta potty paid for the toilet. So it's nice. And we get to flush. <laughs> right there. That's, That's where we need probably... to drill our hole. Yeah. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be good. I know we're going to be okay. Are you glad you purchased that little kit? Yeah, I don't know that they're deep enough to go through a two by four though. I didn't plan on, I didn't plan on that when I bought it. I just planned on it being used for uh, the plastic there. Yeah, so like, uh, I don't think they will go through a two by four. Hmm. Might have to come at it from both sides. Uh, we'll see though. It's getting cold. It's cool enough, so. Huh? Well, that would be a really tight fit, huh? snug fit. That's good. Less vapors. Yeah. Escaping. Less sewer gases, huh? Mm -hmm. Is that the largest? No, five inches, the largest. Oh, okay. But I mean, that would. 
would, that would work. work too. It would totally seal. When we screw the when we screw the base down, yeah, it would seal. <sighs> Let's go with the big one. No. It is slightly bigger. Slightly. We'll go with this one. Nah, we'll go with the big one. Are you debilitating again? I'm debilitating over it. <laughs> Maybe you should tell him why I said that. She said that because <laughs> she was confused one day <laughs> between the difference of deliberating and debilitating and debilitated because they had deliberated a long time. We felt debilitated. <laughs> oh, we're over the color of the paint, I think it was, for the shed. Yeah. We went, we were trying to figure out what color to paint that over there. Yes. <laughs> and so they were they were debilitated by, by deliberating. By their deliberating. <laughs> it's like, um, what's that one with uh, paralysis from analysis? Yes, that's, that's what we... That's kind of the same thing. That's what we had. They were debilitated by deliberation, or they had paralysis... By analysis. From analysis. <laughs> what in the world? There we go. So is that mark right here the center? That's the center. Okay. That's where we're putting it. And let's just, um, we'll move it down a little bit more so we're not so close to the edge there. All right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Dad, who's the rookie here? Yikes. I didn't have it. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. <laughs> Before we do that. Tuck's like, what is that? What is it? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that those screws are going to be able to fit. Mm. They will. There's plenty of room. Okay. That would have been a bad mistake. Doing good. <laughs> Battery time. <laughs> Weather here, guys, is so crazy. Like sometimes in one day, you can go from hot to cold, hot to cold. Like I put on a jacket sometimes. Other times I'm like, take it off, it's hot. It's crazy. New battery. Oh, we bottomed out. Yeah. So we gotta attack it from the other side. Okay. Which means it's gonna take two people. So we'll see you when it's done. So we'd want to see the plug we just did. You know what though? Look in the gun right there. So in the gun? The drill, I mean. Oh, this thing? Yeah, lift that up. Cool. That's what we just popped out. That's pretty cool. I know. <laughs> Try to pull it out. The wood part. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's sit in there tight. It's really thick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so. That's what I'm thinking. I'm wondering if we should use this. So my idea was that we'll put this in here. We'll just tape it down. I'm just gonna use green tape because green means go. That's what we're gonna be doing here. But, um, <laughs> but like I think- Like go, like you're going poop? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> but I think that this is going to extend all the way down into the actual water, mm. right? And then, I don't know that it's, I don't know that that's such a good idea. Hmm. Mm -mm. Like it's too shallow? Well, like, because it'll, I'm afraid it'll build up in here. Like it'll, it'll hit the water, right? And the water level yeah. say will be like right here. Mm -hmm. And so you have toilet paper and stuff building up. And so every time you flush, it's got to like push it all the way out. So we just don't need that then you're thinking. I'm thinking, but I, we, we wanted to do that so it didn't make a mess everywhere. Like make a mess all over our tea in there. 
let's just see how far down will that go. Yeah, it'll. What's up? <laughs> Not for the video. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Huh. Let me see, where's the you want to be the at? first one to go? No, uh, that's me. not awesome. <laughs> I've been holding it up. No, that's gross. Yeah. <laughs> so gross. Edit that out. No, that's a good. So we're looking at from the surface here, 16 inches to the top of that. So 16 to the top. Hmm. 16. Decided we're gonna cut this. So that it is 16 inches to here. We're going to cut this much off. And that way um, it won't actually be in the water when the tank gets full. Which will hopefully be like in, I don't know, a few weeks or so. It's not just a toilet, washing machine, showers, all that. And I mentioned in another video, we got to get this tank full before it really starts raining. Because um, if we don't have it full, it'll float to the surface, right? Like it'll come up out of the ground. And so... We got to get it full, but we're going to cut it. So why not just leave it off, right? Why not just, why not just put, why not just put this in here like that and call it good? Well, what I don't want is. This is a temporary situation. Yeah, when I, when I, when the water comes out, I don't want it like spreading out and getting all over there's that green like tube that goes down and you got that t in there as well which we may have to work on it sometime so i don't want it like getting all over the place i want it to just go down into the tank and not make a mess so i'll go cut this off i'll be right back okay we got it cut off 16 inches our green go tape why are we using tape that way we can take it back apart later if we need to because we might want to use this in our house when we build it so don't have to waste another three dollars. Okay, let's screw this guy down. That's barely a seal. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll work. It'll be perfect right there. Where's that wax thing? That doesn't go there. No, it goes later. Mm -hmm. I mean, it will. It'll go on here, but... It's a really nice big box. Yeah, dude, it's awesome. Thank you. Let's go get our shelter, huh? You mean the one that blew away? Yeah. Are you recording the whole time? <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, let's get our shelter. <laughs> you mean the one that blew away? Yeah, the one that blew away. Come on. <laughs> so nice to have this shelter. This keeps us out of the rain while we're working. Not that the rain is bad, but it just makes it a little more pleasant, huh? Yeah. It's really beautiful out here. And we saw deer yesterday, really close. And... <laughs> and check out what our security cameras caught last night. Nobody can sneak up on us. <laughs> Not even a cat. Yeah, little house kitty. Okay. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we won't have a wobbly toilet. I think we need the wax ring. Maybe we need the directions. Just gonna sit right here, and then whoosh, just look out into nature. <laughs> no, I think we're gonna close it up. But that would be funny. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> All right. So forgot we need to put in the other drain for the shower and the. Washing machine. Yeah. So that's what we're that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna test out this drill. This is one. It looks brand new, but what do you think? Five, six years old. You got it like for my it? birthday or something. Oh, in Moab. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not even a lithium. That's like. How old is that? Uh, pretty old. But I wanted to. But I wanted to see how well it did. <laughs> okay, good job. Teamwork. Nice job. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm like a cheerleader in this process right now. Look at that, it came right out. We didn't even have to, it didn't hit the sides, that's good. Perfect. I wanna watch from this side. <laughs> Go. Nice. <laughs> Got it. So cool. It's like a, you know what it looks like? Huh. It looks like a thrifty's ice cream oh, yeah. cone thing, you know? Yeah. It's like the shape and everything. Guys, That's put fun. down in the comments below if you know what a thrifty's ice cream cone is <laughs> and what it looks like, how, how their gun was different than a regular scoop. Yes. That's a childhood memory right there. All right. Let's put it out. Wait. All right, so we got the pipe in here. Check it out this side. Okay, it's gonna fit in there. And then we're gonna use this plastic to actually cover the hole so that, um, you know, all the smells don't come out. But we need to measure it around these pipes and then we're gonna cut the hole for the pipe and then tape it around the pipe so it'll seal it. So we got the holes cut for the plastic. We're just gonna tape them on here so they don't come off. And um, we can seal it up so that none of the sewer gases come up and make our bathroom stink. <laughs> there we go. A good idea. Perfect. All what right. Do think about that. Good. <laughs> All right. Let's lower this back down, and then we'll straighten out the plastic, and then we should be ready now to mount the toilet. Okay. Cool. I'm taking out the wax ring for the toilet. What do we got? Here it is. Nice. It's squishy. Wow, man, that's so weird. This is yeah. so sticky. I mean, it says yeah. wax ring, but I didn't think it would be like that. Like real wax? Let me smell it. Let me smell it. I thought it was like fake wax. Wow. Okay, which side does it go on? Instructions. Put it this way. No. All right, so it says we push this wax ring on here. I guess just probably to make it stick. All right, so we got to put these bolts in here, probably. There's so much to a toilet installation. I had no idea. Uh oh, a wax ring fell off. <laughs> Maybe they mean really press it on there. Next part here, put the tank on. Looks like we probably take those off. Can you hand me that orange ring down there? Dippers. Thank you. All right, so this must go this way because it fits nice over that. This uh, looks right. Our tank's already dirty. Yep. <laughs> uh. Okay. There we go. So that's on there. Then I think we just attach it. Yeah. Raining. Raining on my back. Hey. <laughs> Tex likes to be warm. <laughs> Are you cold in the rain? Are you cold? You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Okay, and so the way we're doing it is not really conventional, but we're coming from a hose, a flexible hose, to here. I think it's very, very creative. Yeah. Creative. Thinking out of the box. By the way, what does the symbol on your hat mean? Um, <laughs> I don't really, it's for a, a like a rookie baseball team or farm team or something like that in it's, Jackson. It's the Jackson Generals. Oh, Jackson, oh, it's a G? Uh-huh. Oh. They're the Jackson Generals in Jackson, Tennessee yep. baseball team. Sarah got it when their youth group, when the youth group went up to, uh, um, 
<laughs> Sorry, that's adjusting. <laughs> Sarah got it when um, the youth group went up to watch them play about baseball. She yeah. got it for me. I've been up there too. I've oh, yeah? watched their games, yeah. That's cool. Actually, I ran a race that finished over home base. I mean, over home plate. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Our hose. We'll hook into there. We're good to go. We're ready. This guy's ready to start operation, but now we got a shower and washing machine to put in here too. So exciting. Let's do that. Whew. All right, we got the washing machine there. Is it too close to the toilet? There's plenty of room. Plenty? Plenty. All right, and so we still got room for the shower to go right here. Yeah. It's cool. And this is, there'll be plenty of room to dress too, you know, it's like, there's a lot of room. Yeah. We need a dry area. Yeah. A dry and non well, this should be dry. Yeah, this area should be dry. Oh, this right here should be dry. The top of the washing machine should be dry. You can set your clothes on there. Yeah. Hopefully, it's gonna be all muddy. Yeah, hopefully. Cool? Looks great. All right, so next step, um, we gotta set the shower up. And then we gotta bring up the water, connect the drains. Should be good. I'll have to show you our crazy dog. <laughs> what you doing, Tugs? What you doing? You like that dirt hole? <laughs> <laughs> he really likes the dirt. Is that comfy? Is that a comfy little bed? <laughs> Goofball. <laughs> nice, Seth. Let's see. Looks good. Need four more. Four more. All right, so we got the washing machine here. Now we're setting up the shower. And instead of buying like a shower pan because we don't want like just that kind of shower in our house. Um, plus it'll get all nasty out here. We're just gonna build a shower pan with these cinder blocks, some two by tens, and that black plastic right there. Black plastic right there. Brittany's holding. <laughs> Time stamp for <laughs> Right like that. And then this guy is gonna, I'll just give you an example. So it's gonna be like this. And then we're gonna put this ring in there and that's gonna hold it in place. Okay. And then we'll cut out the cut out the center. Oh yeah. Okay, perfect. Basically it'll be like that. So I'll put this ring in there. See, and then the ring is gonna hold the plastic to it. And then this will be the lowest spot. Mm. And so we just cut this out. Like that. Pull it out. Bam, baby. Cool, we got a drain. Shower drain. Yep. Okay, so it'll be like that. And that needs to be the lowest, this needs to be the lowest spot. All right, here's the lowest spot. And so the water should flow down into here. All right, so we got the shower hooked up here, and then it goes gonna flow down this pipe, and then we've connected to the washing machine. Washing machine. Right. Then it comes down here, and it goes uphill a little bit here before it goes down into the septic tank. That is so cool. Yeah, and we did that. So this is gonna form. Um, it's gonna substitute for our P trap. That way, this pipe right here, this pipe right here, will always be full of water. And the, the sewer gases, when they come up, they can't actually escape out into the bathroom, right? So they'll be blocked right here because this will always be full of water. So that should be good. Yeah, it's exciting. Let's give it a try. No, let's uh, hook the water. We got to hook water up now. All right, maybe we're jumping the gun a little bit. We don't have the shower set up yet, but we're going to try to fill the toilet. Let's see, we'll turn on the valve. <laughs> going yay we have water all right let's go get the shower and see how we can set it up in here let's go do it <laughs> and it's raining again <laughs> yeah we didn't want to bore you with all of the details so let me show you where we are right now power water coming in hooked up to the toilet right here water it is full we have not flushed it yet we're waiting to show you guys the first flush we got power coming up, it's just being supported here. Goes up to a light right there. Of course the washing machine is plugged in. Water going to the washing machine. 
water coming around here, going up to the water heater, propane connected to the water heater, shower head up here. Most of the water will go here. It doesn't have to all go in there. The hope is, is that just most of it will. If it goes on the ground, it's okay. But we wanna just get most of it in there. We only have one hose hooked up to the hot. We hooked it up to the hot because the threads on the cold are a little bit messed up and I don't wanna mess with it until we put it in the house and it's where it's gonna be permanently. So we just have cold water washing right now. Toilet, washing machine, um, hot water heater, shower, bam. Pavers right here to stand on to get dressed. Next step is to get a tarp around this thing so that it's private-ish. Show us what we got here, Jules. It's so exciting, you guys. <laughs> All right, so we've got our shower right here connected to our Camp Lux propane heater, which is the propane is right here. And so our platform to stand on, and then this area will be kept mostly dry so we can change on here, and that'll be really good. And then we also have our wash machine right next to it, which right now we're only running cold water, I think Marty told you. And we have our toilet, our flushing toilet. Oh, we haven't so even flushed excited. it yet. I know. Let's try it. Let's do it. First flush. Okay. It's full of water already. Yep. That That's just dirt in there. Yeah. And there hasn't been any contributions. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yeah. Three. Two, one. Wow. Huh. That's so cool. And it's filling up already again. It's filling up. You can hear yep. the pump going from the tank. Cool. The tank. I thought it would be louder. Like I thought you'd hear the water in the septic tank a lot louder, but I couldn't even hear it. Could you really hear it? You can hear it like dripping a little bit. Yeah. But not a lot. And so guys, all of this is run off of solar, right? Our washing yeah. machine is solar. The water pump is solar. The only thing is propane, of course, for shower. the shower. Water. Yeah. But um but yeah, we're washing clothes, we're pumping water, we're doing all of that off of our solar system. We don't actually have all four walls though, so yeah. Like, it is still a little bit open to nature. But guys, this is opened up. To here right nobody should be back here for any reason um the street is that way our camp is over there and so neighbors are pretty far right and so from from camp say right if you're over here you can't see anything i mean you can see somebody's feet if they're sitting on the toilet but that's really it if we're working here right it's all covered it's all blocked and so the open part is to the woods where nobody should be. Pretty good. You wanna see more of what we're doing here on the homestead, there is a video right over here you can go and check out. Otherwise, we hope you have a really great day. And keep smiling. And we'll see you right over there in that video in just a second.